Have you heard of Hubert Blaine Wolf Sr.? He's the man with the Guinness Book of World Records record for the longest name ever recorded in English. His name is complete with one name for each of the letters of the alphabet, and then a 600 letter final name followed by a senior at the end, because believe it or not, he named his son the same name as himself. His name is Adolph Blaine, Charles David Earl, Frederick Gerald Hubert, Irvin John Kenneth Lloyd Martin, Nero Oliver Paul Quincy, Randolph Sherman, Thomas Uncas Victor William, Xerxes Yancey Zeus, Wolfish Schlingenstein, Hausen, Berger, Dorf, Welken, Ver, Alton, Wergen, Wissen, Hoft, you get the idea. <laughs> it's a long name. But the funny thing is, no matter how long that name is, it doesn't even reach to the end of a full page, much less does it reach to the ends of the earth. Psalm 48, like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. God's name isn't long because it has a lot of letters and it. it's only three letters after all. God's name is his reputation. Everything you think about him, all the great works and the great things that he does that we, that we think about and meditate on and ponder on. The reason why the fame of God, that the name of God is so great is because he saved you, because he delivered you, because Jesus lived a perfect life and he gave you his righteousness so that you are righteous, you are right in the sight of God. You are just and good in the sight of God because of Jesus. That is a name, that is a fame that is worth spreading to the ends of the earth. That is praise that is deserved to be heard by every single person, a reputation that deserves to be shared. God's name might not be 600 letters wrong, long, but it is worth trillions of words of praise out of the mouths of billions of his people, billions of believers from across time and across the world.